what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Hi ladies and gents and welcome back to What's in the Box after one week away because I lost my phone so I couldn't video this. I'm Jack, I am back. I've got a coffee. I'm gonna take a swig of that. Mmm, that's fine, India from India. Right, so today is a very special one. So special, in fact, that I've given away the punchline in the title of this video. Yes, you are correct. It is a Timbleweed Park unboxing video. This arrived on my doorstep only two days ago, and I am so excited to get it open. As you can see here, it's a Timbleweed Park backer box. Am I excited? So without further ado, let's get this box open. Oh, look at it. It's a brand new box and it's so well packaged in a nice thick safe cardboard box oh here we go right 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 oh look at that such simplicity oh 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 look at that spine oh it's gorgeous it's beautiful right is this the front oh my god ladies and gents i was not expecting that it's signed by ron gilbert and gary winnick oh my god this is so cool i did not know that it was going to be signed oh sweet look at that lovely star down there oh my god it's like all my christmases came at once oh shrink wrapped is there anything better in the world than brand new big boxes for my PC game collection. Oh, I'm gonna look at every single side. Oh, and they've put the nice little border like the old games around the side. Look at it. Oh, there's Ray and Reyes and the pixelated dead body right on the top. Oh, it's so nice. Oh my good Lord. Ladies and gents, sorry, I'm just gonna have a little moment. This is quite emotional. Box and contents designed by Fan Gamer. That sticker. Just like the old big box games as well, except it says PC Max in Linux. Let's do just a quick comparison. We've got the old sticker there saying IBM VGA and PC Mac and Linux. Isn't it just gorgeous? These are just meant to go together. I can't wait to put this on my shelf next to my LucasArts collection. These stickers here as well are stuck to the shrink wrap, so I will be absolutely 100% taking them off and sticking them straight to the box once I get this shrink wrap off. Let's just take Take a moment to appreciate that gorgeous box art. Look at it. Oh, we've got Ray and Reyes there in the body. And then we've got lovely radio tower in the background. It's gorgeous, it's perfect. It really does suit. I believe this art was done by a girl called Anina Matsumoto. I hope I got that right. Gorgeous art, definitely worthy of the old LucasArts and Lucasfilm classics. Oh, I don't wanna open it up because it's in shrink wrap and oh, I don't know, I wish I bought a second one now. Oh, this was worth every, every penny of the money I paid. Let's take off the shrink wrap and then we'll have a look at the art up close. I'm gonna be very careful here. Split like so. Oh, I'm so excited to get this open. So excited to see what's inside. And I believe they're sold out of them at the moment, but you can pre-order. They're, they're doing another run of their big boxes. So if you get in there now on their site, um, you can get one for yourself. I believe they're only $40 as well, which is really cheap. Very carefully take these stickers off now and get that out of the way and be on my box. That was dangerous. Oh, look at this backer areno. I certainly am a backer areno, right? So that's going to go here. Oh, lovely. Look at you. Oh, and it's a nice feely as well. Oh, this is going to be full of things. I can't wait to, can't wait to open it. Can't wait to look at it. There's so much to see, so much to do. Gotta be very careful though. I don't want to rip any of these stickers. Okay, sticker off. Now, be very careful here. Get it on the side. I'm actually going to use another LucasArts box as reference to where it should go. Be very careful. Line up the spine. Perfect. Ah, oh, perfection. Perfection. It was like it's always meant to be. It certainly is an adventure game by Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick. A great bunch of lads. Let's have a quick look at the back. In a town like Thimbleweed Park, a dead body is the least of your problems. Switch between five playable characters to uncover the surreal secrets of the strange town. In a modern mystery adventure game from the creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion. The deeper you go, the weirder it gets. Perfect. Key features. This is my favorite part about these guys' boxes. They always put in loads of effort. All right, let's see what the key features. From Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick, creators of Monkey Island and Maniac Mansion. That certainly is a key feature because that means it's going to be good. A neo-noir mystery set in 1987. 
game. Five playable characters who can work together or get on each other's beeping nerves. Not a walking simulator. Satisfying puzzles intertwined with a twisty, turny story that will stay with you. A vast, bizarre world to explore at your own pace. A joke every two minutes, guaranteed. <laughs> with an asterisk beside it as well. I can't wait to get to the asterisk. Casual and hard modes with varied difficulty. English voices with English, German, French, Italian, Russian and Spanish subtitles. That was another great thing about the old LucasArts games. They put a lot of effort into all all the languages and the asterisks are not a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I love their sense of humor. I think definitely my sense of humor has come from them. Ladies and gents, it's the moment of truth. Here comes the top of the box to reveal what's inside. I'm gonna take that box off straight. Here we are. Look at it. Is that the manual? What's this? Let's have a quick look. So this is a manual for getting the game running, I believe. It most certainly is. Thimbleweed Park. Mouse controls, keyboard controls, saving and loading instructions. It has autosave as well. Setting preferences. Oh, you can go in and change all your preferences. Game design philosophy. Then the rules for making adventure games. Oh, Ron is great for that. Oh, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous manual. Oh my God, look at these feelies. Look at these feelies. Look at these feelies. This, I believe, is yes, it's a tourist map of Thimbleweed Park. I absolutely am in love straight away. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Ricky's Cakes, which turned into a tube selling store. Ah, oh, safety first savings. The bank. Edmund Hotel. A lot goes on there. Oh, it's a gorgeous little map very very similar to the map in Sam and Max actually. Case Scum the radio. Didn't know that. And there's a circus with our favorite man Ransom. Ransom the clown. That is a lovely lovely map. That is exactly pretty much bar it's pixelated in the game how the game appears. That's your overview map to get from place to place. Is there anything on the back? No, she's white on the back. Cool. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. What's next? Oh, are these bumper stickers? Are these stickers? I think they are. The signals are strong tonight in Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park is so cool. It's such a great game. If you've never played it, get on it right now. It's a great point and click, particularly if you're into point and click games. Yeah, they're gorgeous little stickers. They will never be used. They will just stay in there as feelies. Arino. Oh, some of my favorite characters in the game and people who've played it without any spoilers will know who I am referencing. Right, lovely stickers. What's this? Is this a newspaper? Nickel News. Cool. Yeah, Nickel News is a place in Thimbleweed Park. Chuck Edmund finally at rest on a Pillowtronics pillow. Yeah, because that's what he did. That was his thing. So yeah, you get a little newspaper clipping. That's excellent. All these stories in the newspaper are probably well written as well. They're probably written by Ron Gilbert and the lads and David Fox as well. David Fox doesn't get enough praise, so I'm gonna give you some praise. If you're watching this, and I really hope you are, David, you're a great man. I have a lot of time for you and I think you're a lovely guy and your game, Zach McCracken, is on my two playlist. I hear it's hard and I'm looking forward to it. It's one of the last LucasArts games I haven't played yet. I'm really looking forward to it. So here's a thumbs up to you, my friend. Horace Copes with Madame Marina. She was a she was a less than a desirable person in the game. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. This is lovely. At home with Lenore Edmund Mulch. She was a not desirable person either. Timblecon87, one of my favorite parts to the game. I'm so excited to get in there. These really, really are great. What's this now? This is my CD case of Thimbleweed Park. A lovely CD case as well. I won't be opening that just yet. We'll come back to it shortly. That's my CD case. What is this? Official Thimbleweed Park speck of dust, not actual size. <laughs> These are all specks of dust. It's a little notepad, which are specks of dust, which you can pick up in the game. <laughs> Very good. I love it. That's great. That's excellent. All right, what's this? Oh no, oh no, my my sticker. I suppose something had to go wrong. Quality control, huh? <laughs> right, that's okay. Uh, that's dealable, that's dealable, that's dealable. She's on now, she's on flat. Ladies and gents, that is such a cool inclusion. Disc 22, <laughs> disc 22, ladies and gents. The last disc in Monkey Island 1, The Secret of Monkey Island. This is great. I wonder what's on this uh, this floppy disk. Is it a real floppy Does it work? Yeah, that's got, that's got a real uh, it's a real floppy disk. I wonder what's on it. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm a bit sad about that, the label though, but it's okay. That's so cool. What a, what a cool inclusion. Now, of course, as always, you've always got to check under all these things, you know. 
there might be some hidden stuff and I see ladies and gents absolutely nothing so that's gonna go back in the box as soon as possible that's so great right okay the official specs of dust great I'm gonna open this up and see what's inside as well a lot of people probably would leave it closed but I'm gonna get the full experience I'm gonna open her fully up so everybody here that is looking at the Timbleweed Park unboxing can see what's inside. So here we are, Thimbleweed Park disc. It's a DVD actually, sorry. So what the hell is on the floppy disc? <laughs> what in God's name is on the floppy disc? I'll have to find that out. Thimbleweed Park, excellent. Lovely disc, great packaging, lovely design. Is that another manual or something that falls out? It does, it falls out into something. Let's take it out and have a see. Thimbleweed Park disc, Thimbleweed Park inlay. Oh, the beautiful Vista. Oh yes, that's gorgeous. Mark Ferrari, some of his finest work is in this game and I would highly suggest if you're into pixel art to check out some of his 8-bit and 8-bitish art as well obviously the rest of the team as well um, of terrible toy box deserves as much praise as everyone else on the project ladies and gents there it is what do we have we've got our thimbleweed park floppy disk a little sad about the label but so so what i'll get over it wow that's packed to gills isn't it my specs of dust oh my thimbleweed park cd case my nickel news that's great i'm gonna have great crack reading that we've got the thimbleweed park tourist map we have a few stickers thimbleweed park sign thimbleweed park black and white manual and the cover ladies and gents that is an absolutely gorgeous big box i am so proud and so happy to have it in my collection. Please support this team, get the game. If you haven't gotten it already, buy it. It's really, really good and it's worth playing if you're into old LucasArts and old point click games again. This is a cup of coffee, which I'm gonna drink and you've been watching What's in the Box, a special where the mystery has been solved. The mystery of Thimbleweed Park. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like this content, please like, please subscribe. Help us out in the channel. If you want more What's in the Box, let us know. I will try to do as many of these as I can that my budget allows. Sometimes, some Sundays, we won't have any what's in the box, but I'm going to try to keep these coming as much as I can if people are enjoying them. Ladies and gents, that's Timbleweed Park unboxing. That's what's in the box. I'm Jack. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the snake a No, hit the snake a <laughs>